Virgo. Time for your general relationship read. So let's get started here. If the cards want to shuffle, yes, I'm focused. Let's do this again. Very good. And then they completely split apart. Ah, oh, I love it. Okay, let's pray. Great Creator, Father God, Divine Mother, Mother Mary, angels, ancestors, and spirit guides. I just pray and ask for wisdom and clarity and for any messages needing to come through for the collective sign of Virgo for this their general relationship read. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay. I don't understand why you're not listening here. Okay, one more time. Thank you. All right. Uh, stop breaking agreements. 31. 3 and 1 reduces down to 4. Number of stability. And... It's a no. 16. 6 and 1 reduces down to 7. Number of creation. Okay. So, general relationship. What is going on, Virgo? I don't like that energy. Especially after your career and finance read. Migration. Oh, this is what's going on. Lodge, council, you are going through transformation here. Uh, and drum awaken. Yeah, Dark Knight of Soul. Rite of Passage. I keep hearing that. Your career and finance read was like that. Do you see that? Okay. Listen to me, Virgo. And I'm going to say this. I get that you're tight-lipped about a connection that you've made. I get it. But kind of... I need to, yeah, I would like to do that. Okay. Thank you. And that's the reason it's a no. <laughs> oh, no. See that? First one out was Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Let's talk about this, Virgo. I don't normally have this happen to me. Knight of Pentacles, slowest moving knight in the deck because it's a pack horse. It's bringing more to you than what you're asking for. It's taking a minute to get to you. Now, it's your sign's night, so you kind of understand this. It's okay. Now, I want to talk about these two. That flew out. Nine of Cups and star. Now, if we're going to do this read this way, let's do this read this way. It's okay. Wish fulfillment and the star. Now, the star is getting attention. Some people read it as like stardom or um, they also read it as healing. It's also because play on words written in the stars type of thing. Predestined. You know, you can take it that way. I had this other like really because when I don't do the reads I think about the cards because I am kind of fairly new to this I've been um channel's been up it'll be a year in August yay so I've I learned tarot cards maybe a, 13 months ago it's been about a year so I sit down and think about each individual card now the interesting thing about the star card Okay. 
some people are, you know, I've heard it said, you know, I've heard it read like this, where it's stardom, it's someone that is well known, you know. Okay, listen. Listen. When it comes to, or, you know, gaining attention, more followers, stardom, attention, you know, whatever. Um, healing comes sometimes when we get the right kind of attention from the right person. Where it's not... Uh, where it's not superficial attention. If that makes sense. I wrote this book. And it was called Footfalls. I wrote this years ago. And there's a line in it. For some reason I keep going back to that line. And it's about. Go get the book. I have to go get the book. Gotcha. Let me go get the book. I'll read the line. Here it is. I don't know why I had to go get this because it just it stays with me it, it, and just remember that be with me because you want to be with me don't step into my life and into the sacredness of my abode and have other reasons for being here be with me and be here because I'm all you think about be with me because I'm the man you want not the one you want to own and control rob and drain be with me because you want to be with me because I make you wet even before I touch you. Be with me because you get excited with the thought of what we've done. The thought of all I long to do to you. Now. Here it is. Be with me because you want to be with me. And not that you want to be seen with me or want others to know of what you've accomplished by obtaining me. Now. See, that's the thing. Is that. It just kind of stays with me. Because. There's. There's a difference between, like, when someone mentions that it's, like, attention, like, this is um, stardom, this is applause, this is um, having light shine on you, or, you know. What happens, though, and the reason I read that, was because it's someone, when it becomes healing, when you get the right kind of attention... There's no alternate intentions behind it. Like, they don't have alternate motives. Like, there's no, no other reason why they are near you but to want to be near you. Like, they're not after anything else. That's where this is the star and healing. And that's where the wish fulfillment is coming in here. This is why you don't want to say anything. But it's one of those things of where it's... They don't have any motives. They just want to hang out with you. They like your energy. They just want to be near you. It's not about money. It's not about... Yeah, it's not about getting close to you because there's... They're using you to step up further or they're um, wanting to, you know, tap into your energy. You know, it's nothing like that. So when I see the star card, it's getting the right kind of attention from the right person. Where you're the only, you're the only one that they see in the room. If that makes sense. So you're the star to them. This is the energy of this person. You don't want to talk about. And I feel like meeting this type of person. After. <laughs> going through a minute of. You know waiting. To have them arrive has really caused this like there's it goes back to the career and finance read the rite of passage and then that same book I'm just going to say this it's a no um it's just talks about it 
um, how tight-lipped you are. Because there's a part in the book, and I have to say this, I really feel like I was channeling that book. I did. And I didn't understand channeling at the time that I wrote that book. Um, I didn't, I swear. And I felt like, it wasn't even channeling, like I... I felt like I had like an invisible co-writer. It, it's just a very long story. But anyway, um, there was a part in the book where he's connecting to um, this female. It like they're friends, and it's getting closer, and um, they finally have this moment where they kiss. Well, I tried to write. The description of that kiss. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I tried to, like you. You tried to make it sound better. Write a paragraph. I ended up writing the same sentence twice, like word for word. I have never done that in my life. I looked at the page and I went, "What the hell did I just do?" And I, I walked away from it. I'm like, maybe I'm tired. Maybe I need a minute away from it. <laughs> and I walked away I swear I walked away it took me three days I kept sitting down with and just kind of looking at the computer going I have to write a paragraph describing this kiss I tried to do it like it took forever and when I sat down again and I'm like okay why aren't you telling me about this kiss why can't I you know and it's because the book didn't want to tell me just didn't want to tell me because it's private it, it's almost like a gem so whoever you've connected here with this is definitely something you're guarding but they're making you feel like this like you want to make them feel like this but they're making you feel like this they are but not in the way of where they're coming after anything that you have that other people have come after they're not like that like honestly they're connecting you with you um, on a completely different level and this is why it's like one of those things of like oh shit like completely mind-blowing type of thing wish fulfillment and they've taken a minute little awakening moment so the no is about coming out with what's happened here. Like, you're not telling me anything. Not telling anybody you are type lip lipped about this. I don't blame you. Three of Swords. King of Wands. And that's not your energy. I feel like they're in their head. I feel like they're in their head. They don't understand what's going on. No, they're not in their head. Yeah, they're in their head. But this isn't your energy, these two cards. It's not. Two of Wands. I'll get back to those two. Six of Wands. There's a lot of talking here. Four of Pentacles. Now I'm going to say this. Both reads, career and finance read. This is general relationship read. This card has shown up in the same spot both times. You saw me shuffle. I'm telling you, you are not coming out with this. This is a secret that you are going to never speak of. This is something where you're just like, I'm not saying a damn thing. I don't blame you. Don't say anything. You don't have to tell anybody. Four of Cups and Lovers. Oh my god. I feel like right here these four it's about the other person I do and I think there's like this fear of you're thinking they're too good to be true and like there's this and, and it's not that or that there's a oh god there's alternative reasons beyond your control for them to be in your life look Three of Swords, King of Wands. This is their energy. I feel like this is them. Yeah, it goes back to that career and finance read. It does. This this person that you're connecting with has been through it. They have been through it. 
life has kicked them. They've, uh, yeah, they've been through it. And when they've been down, they've been kicked again. And they manage to get themselves back up and they keep pushing forward. It's just this good energy of, I mean, this person, they've been hurt and they're just kind of, King of Wands is very passionate energy, very flirtatious, charismatic, a jokester. I mean, could laugh. Like I said, in career and finance, if you don't laugh at life, life's going to laugh at you. But it's Aries energy. It's that fire sign. And that's, this is their energy. They've had their heart broken. They can still laugh. It's not the end of the world when they get, like, yeah. <laughs> when they um, nick their toenail or nick their fingernail, like have their nails hit. Like it's not the end of the world with them. It's completely different energy to you. And that's why it fascinates you, I feel like. The drum is really, and I want to, I want to say this. The drum is used by shamans. Um... And it's part of really going into a state of meditative state. And it's about connecting astral um, projection, travel. It, this is about getting your mind to where you shut off the mind. To where you can um, spiritually journey to answer questions. And I like in this deck, it's shamanic medicine deck where this is really about awakening because awakening is your eyes are open and you get more clarity and there's like levels to this and there's more of um, waking up and you're constantly learning because it's it's about being a perpetual student you're always a student there's something else to know but it's not just knowledge it's applying your knowledge to your life that's where you gain the wisdom but I would listen to, maybe that's an indication, maybe um, listen to, there's a channel, and I listen to it, called Calm Whale on YouTube, and they have a lot of music that's like shamanic um, drum music, like it, and it's very relaxing, um, they also have like rain like there's different I would look up that anyway two of wands there's that connection card this is connecting to someone on a completely different level and feeding one another mentally six of wands there's a victory I feel like you've been trying to do this for a minute I don't think they were pushing you away I don't think that's what this was I think it was one of those things of they didn't trust it. There was a level here of not, is that what it was? They didn't believe that, <laughs> they didn't believe you would be into them because it, it's like they had this image of what you would be into, of like physically what you would be attracted to. But see, that's the thing with the Two of Wands. This is connecting to someone, feeding one another mentally. So they're making assumptions. That's the reason they pulled away. But the assumptions had nothing to do with the connection whatsoever. See, I really feel like this connection goes deeper than what <laughs> you will even say. And that's fine. Four of Pentacles. And see, this is the thing here, though. Four of Cups, discontentment. It's not about being unhappy. The Four of Cups isn't. The four, four is the number of stability, okay? If you look at Four of Swords, in order to regain your stability, um, take a minute, rest, retreat. Um, Four of Pentacles, because you got two fours next to each other. Four of Pentacles is that hoarding. 
And that's funny because the Four of Pentacles comes before the Five, where Five is about change, and Five of Pentacles is like this poverty mindset, feeling like you're left out in the cold, going through a rough patch. So in order to remain, really maintain your stability, gonna put things away, gonna hoard them. Four of Cups, the second four here, is about trying to maintain, really gain back your stability emotionally and figuring out that maybe there's a part emotionally that you weren't completely fulfilled about. That's what the Four of Cups is. It's not about being unhappy. It's about not being completely fulfilled. And then you have the lover's card. Lover's card showed up. Both reads. And this card did too. Lover's card is about choice. Choose yourself at the same time. At the same time, this is also about connection. And I feel like you're choosing yourself and... In choosing yourself, you're choosing to go through this rite of passage, but you're also choosing to choose yourself because of them. Because I really feel like you understand that it's not all about self. That when you choose yourself, choose to love yourself, it's so that you can love others, so that you can really um, bring love into let's say collective you awaken um, like I'm at a loss for words tonight I don't know why this is loving yourself so you can keep your contracts and I feel like this person is someone that you have soul contract with and we have soul contracts with so many people But this is really bringing about this change in your spiritual awakening. Transformation. Dark night of the soul. Because there's a lot of healing that's happening here. And the reason for the healing is... <laughs> is because they are not like anybody else. It's almost like you've... You've been waiting for this person, they show up and you're like, holy crap, what just happened? So I mean, okay, listen. Choose yourself. But this is good energy that they're bringing to the table. This is someone that's really been pounded. Strong self-assured, not even self-assured, I don't even think they are, they're stronger than what they realize they are, and you see that, you do, you see that, so I mean you have two fours here, and if you look at this from a different perspective than just straight out, you're staying tight-lipped because you weren't content, and you weren't fulfilled until this happens, you know, if you look at it that way, Look at it a different way. Cups and Pentacles. Career and Finance read was Pentacles and Wands. There was one cup, I think, one card that was cups. This is about stability. Like I said, four. But this is looking at it from the perspective of how can I do I have the resources to emotionally go after my stability? Go after this individual, go after this connection? Do I have the resources emotionally? Like, am I strong enough emotionally to face this person or to um, make this change and accept that this person is not like 
what I've expected or what I've grown used to. It's not karmic. It's not chaotic. They're looking at this from a completely different perspective than others that have crossed my path. It's not um, something that's going to be... I mean, this could be the situation where it's boring because it's just comfortable. See what I mean? So if you look at it from that point of view, no wonder there's this complete change that's happening. This transformation. No wonder the death card has showed up. Okay, so for the collective sign of Virgo, this is your general relationship read. Hope it helps. Love and light.